Well, today I'm moving to Los Angeles. quick stop for you show you something pretty cool apparently they moved it it used to be across the street in that other casino and now that's that mall here which unfortunately it's pretty dead maybe it's uh, still pandemic related but I think it should be at the other end this way so here it is Two really impressive cars. Dutch Schultz's 9031 Lincoln. Definitely wins the coolness award over my van big time. And here we are, Bonnie and Clyde's car. The famous gangster couple has been shot at, shot in. Right. Was nice. I'm gonna continue to my camp spot in Barstow for the night. Uh, tomorrow is when we're gonna really drive down to LA. I uh, like to take a break while I travel to LA and just camp on BLM land and cuts the drive in half because I can, because I like it. Uh, so I'm gonna like drive two, three hours before the hefty traffic kicks in, by the way. Some really cool artwork here. Barstow it is for the night camp. It's really cool. Love the art expo they had in there. I've never seen that before. Man, it's hot. Uh, yeah, let's talk about the plan, the hopes, the dreams of moving to Los Angeles. So, 
As you can tell from my face and my introduction, something is special about this move. It's gonna be a love and hate relationship to be in Los Angeles sort of full time. Let's start with the love stuff first. It's my dream to always be in Hollywood since I'm a child. I always wanted to be a composer there. Nothing fascinated me more than Hollywood composers, film composers in general. I wanted to do this early 2020 already, planned this out for many years, but obviously because of the pandemic, all those plans were off the table. So now this is it. This is the one move where I really want to throw everything in that I have to try to hopefully make it in LA. I'm there to go to any event I can find, go to as many places as I can. Maybe there is that one person around the corner that will be the gate opener to get to this level that I'm not at yet, but I really try to prepare as much as I can to get there. Let's get to the stuff that is something I learned in the last couple of years I've been out there. I do not like large cities. And with that said, Los Angeles obviously is one of the worst places I could ever go to on this planet. It is like, what, among the largest three metropolitan areas with 18 million plus people, the traffic is insane. I have been with the van in LA testing out the waters trying to find a home base, trying to camp around. Technically, there's a lot of things that are not new. They're just gonna be longer and somewhat having the mindset that it's gonna be somewhat permanent. A balance act, so to say, to find a good middle way where I can push forward what I said earlier, go out there, network, try to establish myself, but also somewhat listen to what I need just to be happy. Camp somewhere in the forest or leave town for a couple of weeks and go on a trip or just spend days at the beach and work there. My home base for now is not that far away from everything. It feels different, much different than any time before, that this time I really want to make this worthwhile and get to the final goal or at least to the next level. Victorville. I stayed overnight here I think three times and Costco is somewhere here on the left. There we go. But that's not the entrance. I guess that's the entrance. Oh, it's not. It's closed.
for the jump into Office Depot, but find all the Germans. Aldi. Awesome. That's something cool about California. They have Aldi's here. Hang in tight. I'm gonna pick something up, which is cool. And I hope it turned out good. And here is what I got. Yay. New movie poster. Movie I've done over the winter. Yeep. Music bug. Trim it a little bit more with the scissors, but that's gonna go in there. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> nice. Yes. On a trip like this, makes you think, believe you're on the right path. Let's put all posters up here, right? I was thinking for a while to put insulation, audio acoustic insulation, but screw it, all posters. Well, fast forward. I made it to the beach in Oxnard. I'm gonna stay here for two more nights in front of a house from a Boondockers welcome host until Monday. I'm gonna have to move to Thousand Oaks, but this was way closer to drive there rather than coming from LA and enjoy the weekend on the beach. As you can see, beautiful, beautiful, very windy though. But very nice to relax and chill. Yes, this will be the refuge to go to Santa Monica and Venice and all those places, Huntington, Manhattan Beach. Once I move there permanently to um, recharge the batteries. Here we are. Ah, fresh air, fresh breeze. Perfect. Oh, and right. Oh, I forgot to say. You guys have no idea how amazing it is to have a bike now. That's a life game changer. <laughs> awesome.
sea lions over there. And that's it. And I think to get to the other side, there should be a bridge somewhere. Full-time boat life. That will be another adventure. Because we have some marriage ceremony over there, a party. And people having a good time. Including me. It's just, I'm kind of jealous of the barbecue. <laughs> but I'm going to cook up a snack now. Enjoy the rest of the day. Perfect conditions. Also, very good solar. And I was working great. What more do you need? And home we are.